I know, the title of this video sounds pretty dramatic, right? Well, I promise that if you switch your approach like I'm gonna show you in this video, the results that you'll get for your business will be equally as dramatic. So everything I'm gonna talk about here is based on the exact same shifts that I made, not only with my own website, but with my clients' websites over the past 10 or so years. And this is the exact same approach that helped each one of them start attracting and impressing and converting more casual site visitors into very interested paying customers. And this new approach typically gets anywhere from three to five times as many website conversions than before. And speaking of before, the way I used to approach websites and the way most small businesses still do can actually cause a lot of harm to the health of a business by missing out on a pretty big opportunity of maximizing what should be their single biggest marketing and sales tool. And this opportunity is missed for many reasons. Let me know down in the comments if any of these sound familiar to you. Reason one, you underestimate the value of what your website can do for you. In other words, you think it should just be out there so people can check you out passively and then act or not act. It's basically just up there as a fancy digital brochure or you just don't know what you need to put on your website for it to be successful. So you look at what your competitors are doing, but that's not very helpful because most of them are guessing just as much as you are. So you end up creating lots of pages that don't really move anyone any closer to a sale because those pages just aren't relevant. They're not really what your customers need to see or understand in order to see the value in what you can do for them. Or maybe you hired a designer, possibly for lots of money, thinking that you could just hire this out and get a really awesome sales tool out of it on the other side. But designers are just that, they're designers. They don't make the strategy, even if a lot of them do talk a big game about making you a website that's gonna build your business. But at the end of the day, they just made you a pretty looking website that didn't do very much. So that's the old way that I wanna move you away from with this video. So I'm gonna go bit by bit here so that you can really absorb all the shifts that you need to go through if you want your website to do what this video promises and actually change your business for the better forever. Because I'm here to tell you, it can. Okay, so let's talk about old approach number one. Focus on design first, then slot in the content later. I can't tell you how many designers work this way and you know what, I can't even hate because that's how I used to do it too. I would design this amazing looking, at least I thought it looked amazing, website with dummy content that we called lorem ipsum. Um, it was basically just Latin placeholder text. As if to say, the words that go here, who cares what the words say? The design's gonna sell it. And I couldn't have been any more wrong. I just didn't know any better yet. And I get it. The design is the fun part. It feels creative and exciting to get the designs back on your new website. And you can still have all that excitement. We just need to switch the order up. So here's the new approach. Focus on content that sells, then design for it. And I'm mostly talking about the written words, otherwise known as website copy. So good website copy that sells is really more of a science than an art, meaning that there are really solid psychological principles that any business can use to help sell their offers. And that should be music to your ears, right? Because when we talk about having a scientific approach, what does that really mean? It means that there's an already worked out, repeatable system that already gets results. And we know this because it's been studied not only by marketers, but by actual scientists for decades now. So there are certain things that any good website needs to contain, ideally in a certain order, that are gonna help your clients understand what you do in a way that actually means something to them because it's tied to the problem that they're experiencing. If you do it right, your website should hit certain beats that mimic what makes for a good story. And your potential client should see themselves as the hero of that story with your business there as the helpful guide who can help them overcome the obstacle that's in their way so they can finally get what they want. Now, I'm not suggesting that you tell a narrative story in a once upon a time way or like you're writing a screenplay. 
Not at all, but the more that you can dole out information on your site in an order that just mimics the order of a good story, the more your clients are gonna remember it and see your business as the one that not only understands their struggle, but has the knowledge and the track record to get them to the other side. That's the important stuff and it's where we need to start. Once you have the words in place that are all there for specific reasons, then it's time to give the word shape with a really nice looking design that feels professional enough so that people will trust you and it should be laid out in a way that makes all your words easy to get through, moving them easily from section to section. And when we talk about design, the images you choose are really important, but maybe not in the way you think. Ideally, they should reflect your ideal customer's story. So remember, they're the hero here, not you and your business. So use good images meant to portray your clients after they're finished working with you. So if you're a computer repair shop, don't show an image of you with a computer taken apart in a million small pieces. Instead, use an image of your happy customer using their laptop now without a care in the world because it's fixed. And don't get bogged down here with the need for your website to be you know, creative with a capital C. It's really not about that. In fact, some of the most creative websites I've seen are really more of a liability. As in, they're so creative that they're actually really hard to use. And that always just comes across as you, as the business, is prioritizing looking cool over your client's experience. And that's never going to get you more business. Big mistake. Big huge. And if you want the actual step-by-step -step of how to create a website like I'm talking about in this video, my signature program, the Profitable Website Launchpad, is open for enrollment this week only. So if you're watching this the week this video is out, now is the time to get the blueprint for the kind of website that's going to connect with your potential clients in a way that makes them want to work with you and nobody else. So just go to westmcdowell.com slash launch and sign up before midnight Friday night. Okay, old approach number two, your website's main goal is to sell your service on the very first visit. Just about every website I go to, of the ones that have a call to action at all, have a very one-dimensional idea of what selling on their website should look like. You know, they go right for the sale, basically saying, welcome to our website, wanna give us some money now? But websites that focus on that quick one-dimensional sale are leaving massive amounts of money on the table for the very simple reason that 96% of your website's visitors were never gonna buy in their first visit, right? They're just not ready. They're researching options and no amount of convincing is gonna work on them today. They won't email, call, or schedule a consultation. They'll come and they'll go without you ever even knowing who they are. Oh, and after they leave, they're gonna check out your competition too. So how do you do things differently to actually get that sale? Well, here's the new approach. Use your website instead to build your runway of future clients. And you do this with just a simple shift in focus. And yes, you'll still give that 4% a really clear path forward toward working with you through your primary call to action, but you'll direct everyone else towards another option. Something that promises to help them achieve a small but important result on their own. So this is where a strategic lead magnet comes into play. And a lead magnet is really just any piece of usually downloadable content that helps them get that result. So it could be a checklist of action items or some kind of a template or a curated list of your favorite resources. Those are just a few options, but there are countless different lead magnet types out there. So you figure out what's gonna be most enticing to you know, the most of your prospects, then you make a big deal about it right on your website, then, a portion of that remaining 96% of your site visitors will opt in for it. So you'll then have it deliver with a bit of automation magic on the back end, and then is where things get really interesting. So you now have their email address, right? So you send out weekly helpful emails. And notice I said helpful, not promotional emails, at least not yet. 
These helpful emails basically get you on their good side over a relatively short period of time, and then, and only then, do you add a purely promotional email into the mix. I personally like to follow Gary Vee's jab, 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 right hook model of three helpful emails followed by one promo where you actually let them know that you can help them even more through your paid services, and they should click right here to get in on it. Because when you do it this way, you're putting yourself at the front of the line for when these people are ready to pull the trigger. And not only that, but if you do it right, your helpful emails should actually be increasing their demand for your services, shortening that sales cycle so they'll be ready to go faster. And the really cool thing is when you have that lead magnet on your site, you can actually use it to attract way more people to your site through social media and even Instagram or Facebook ads. And just so you can see what's possible with this new approach, this is business and mindset coach Lilek Bullock and her lead magnet is called the ultimate email swipe file where she basically shows all her highest converting sales emails that you can use for inspiration for your own email marketing campaigns. And that swipe file converts over 56% of everyone that comes to her website, which granted is really high, but obviously completely possible. So um, this translates into some months where she adds as many as a thousand new potential clients to her email list and if she were to close just 3% of that list into paying clients, that's up to 30 new clients every month that would have otherwise just gotten lost in the shuffle. Even if she were to close just 1%, that's still 10 new clients every month. And yes, the system for how you would do this is a whole module inside of the Profitable Website Launchpad program. And if you wanna join up this week, the link is gonna be down below in the description. Okay, an old approach number three is creating a big website with fancy language that's all about you as a business because you think you've gotta come off as professional and having a website like that's gonna help you do it. Actually, there's a few things wrong with this. First, big bloated websites with 30 pages that have a page about your mission statement and another one about your community work and employee bios, on and on and on, that kind of website actually loses people pretty quickly because yes, it's saying a lot of stuff, but it's all about you and not about your clients. So in your quest to come across as professional, you're overlooking one important thing. People embrace businesses with a human face more than the ones who put that you know corporate veneer between themselves and their clients. So the new approach is a website with a simplified structure and a conversational tone to make your business feel as human as the humans behind it. That's you, right? Almost any service business website's gonna convert better when it's stripped down to only the most basic elements that are needed to get someone to either schedule something with you or get on your email list. And that usually boils down to just a handful of key pages, no more. So when you simplify your website, you create a really tight path that your visitors can walk down, getting the right information in the right order to make them see why they should trust you over the competition and why working with you is a no-brainer. They won't get lost in the woods and they won't struggle to understand what you're saying because the tone is casual, conversational, and most of all, human. I don't care if you're a plumber, a dog trainer, a doctor, or a lawyer. If you're B2C or B2B, always speak to your prospects the way you'd speak to a friend, even on your website, always. They'll understand it way more and you'll connect with them much better. Now, if this resonates with you and you wanna use these new approaches on your own website to see more clients coming into your business every single day, then this is the week to get in on the action. My start to finish video training program, the Profitable Website Launchpad, is officially open for enrollment but doors close again Friday night at midnight central time. And here's what you'll accomplish by the end of the program with me virtually by your side. So in module one, I'll help you create your magnetic sales message. All you need to do is fill out the online workbook with your own unique details about your business and your clients and the framework will do the rest. Then in module two, we'll turn all that raw messaging 
into the finished copy for every page of your new streamlined website. We'll also talk about choosing all the right colors and images, all that fun stuff too. Then in module three, we'll get you set up with your lead magnet that will build your runway of future clients. And finally in module four, that's where we get to bring all the new content to life and create your fully functioning, beautifully designed WordPress website. And you won't need to start from scratch either. You're gonna get my Pro Design Site Kit, which gives you lots of layout choices and will serve the content that we created perfectly. Because you get to choose your own layouts and it's all your own text, images, colors, and fonts, your site is gonna look completely unique to your business and like a pro designed it. And this part's really cool. So when you enroll, you get to join the members only Facebook group, which lets you ask me all the questions you want, which I answer each and every week in our live Q and A videos. So you get support from me personally, and this comes with a no questions asked 30 day money back guarantee. So if you enroll, and you don't like it for whatever reason, you just email my team asking for a refund. And as long as it's inside that 30 day window, you're gonna get every cent back. So you've really got nothing to lose here. Just click right here to see all the details. And if you have any questions about the program, leave it as a comment below. I'll try to answer every single question personally. So click right here and I hope to welcome you on the inside today.